today we're going to be looking at a command called TR, which stands for translate. It doesn't translate languages, it translates characters. Um, and it is an external command, so it's not really part of Bash, it's an external command that any shell script can call. Um, so if you're on a really, it's, it's on pretty much all desktop uh, Linux environments that you use. If you're on a very slimmed down system, you may not have TR available. Um, and there's other ways of doing what we're going to do, but TR makes it very simple to change one character to another. Uh, so let's start off, I'm going to say echo hello world, just as we have done in the past, and when we hit enter, it outputs or echoes hello world. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to take the output of echo, in this case it's hello world, and pipe it into another program. This is something I may have not gone over in my recent tutorials on basics, but it's something uh, I've d I do all the time, and if you're writing any type of script or using the shell, you're going to use the pipe all the time. And uh, on the keyboard, at least in the US, it is over your enter key, it's the same key as your backslash, but you hit shift, and it's the symbol that is just an up and down line. In some cases it may look like uh, two up and down lines on top of each other, depending on your font or keyboard, um, but we're going to uh, echo hello world and basically saying take the standard output and there's different types of output but we're taking the output of one command, it doesn't have to be echo, it can be any command, and we're going to take that output and run it through another command and in this case it's tr. And what I'm going to do is inside single quotes here I'm going to say h and then over here I'm going to say j. So basically what we're doing is we're taking hello world and finding all the capital H's, because it is case sensitive, and turning them into capital J's. So at this point, if I hit enter, instead of getting just hello world, we're going to get jello world. That's right, jello world. Now, if we run it again, and in this case we can say W, and we can change W to V, we can say, hello world, and if we say lowercase e, we can change that to an a, just as an example, uh, and you can see it change that lowercase a, or that lowercase e to an a, and let's try a letter that we have multiple of, we'll say l, and we'll say l equals j, oops, and we'll hit enter, and we got hedgeo do I don't even know how you would say that. <laughs> so we're changing characters, and you can change multiple characters, but you have to remember that TR is transcoding, translating individual characters, not strings. So if I run this again, and I say, let's say, world, and then over here I type in, I'll just type in some random letters, it's not going to change, well, it's going to appear to change on one end the word world into SD or ASDFG, but you notice it also changed our hello because it's finding every instance of capital W and changing it to A, and every instance of O and changing it to S, and every instance of R and changing it to D, and every instance of L, which we have a number of, and changing them to Fs. And, uh, so that's why we get F's over here and the, uh, the O turns into an S because we're not translating strings, we're translating individual characters. Um, which, depending on what you're trying to do, might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. Uh, I am going to do some more tutorials on TR here and, uh, and I hope that you're enjoying these Bash Basics. I think that's pretty much all I want to go over for today. Um, I hope you uh, continue to enjoy all my videos. My website is filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Link in the description. If you enjoy these tutorials, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoy them. Also, be sure to subscribe. I put out videos regularly. Uh, visit my site, filmsbychris, chriswithak.com. Link should be in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.